illustrations and you know the graphical interface is going to get improved but you can at least see that the, the basic function uh, functionality of it um, and so the idea is that you can basically enter up to four different search terms so here you can see I've searched um, Chris Record, who is uh, a prominent internet marketer of Search JV Zoo, which is an affiliate network, Pixel Studio FX, which is a recent launch, and also Frank Kern, who is another prominent internet marketer. I'm just going to click search. And basically what the tool does is it connects with the Twitter API, connects directly with Twitter's software, and scans through over 3 billion tweets to find the most targeted uh, tweets that match what we're interested in. So if we just start scanning through some of these people, uh, you can see here uh, this person has just ordered a copy of um, a book that was recommended by Chris Record. Uh, let's just keep on scrolling down. Uh, this person here, um, I'm the last person to know about Chris Record, love his scopes, amazing teacher. Another one at Pixel Studio FX. I can't wait to try out Pixel Studio FX later today. Thanks, Chris Record, for promoting it to us. So, I mean, this is literally someone who's just bought, uh, you know, this particular product here. So, this is a recent buyer from two days ago. So, it does not get any targeted than this. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but just basically to run through the tool and explain how it works, you enter up to four different uh, searches at the top. You can then click on search. Uh, you can also run some advanced uh, searches which are only possible because of you know it's the Twitter API so we can uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff basically even um, you know only find people with a positive or negative emotion um, but basically the idea is that we can enter up to four searches here um, and then all the tweets that match that particular those searches we've entered will then appear in a list here you can see we've got a clickable link to the user's page uh, the number of people um, that are following them, the number of people who they are following, um, and then we've got the tweet itself. And essentially what we can do is when we find someone that we're happy with, we can either click yes to add them or we can click no to skip them. Um, we can arrange keywords, arrange the tweets basically by certain keywords. So if we want to, for example, uh, bring people up who are using uh, Pixel Studio FX, we can put that here and they'll appear first. If we want to put people who use, for example, buyer as a keyword, or bought or purchased or subscribed etc um, then we can basically do that as well and we can also enter negative keywords that we want to exclude um, and we just kind of go through the process of you know just clicking yes skip yes skip etc 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 um, and then when we kind of happy with the results at that point what we can do is we can just click on either download all tweets and it will just download it to our you know to our desktop as a CSV file which we can then um, import into Twitter um, and we can also uh, you know download people who um, everyone apart from who people we skipped uh, we can download people that have been filtered up here we can download everyone that we've added if you want to you know do it the manual way and then basically what we can do with Twitter then is we can just go straight over to Twitter and import it as a, a, a tailored audience it's called so we go to Twitter ads click on audience manager uh, create a new audience and then just literally name the audience import a list of usernames um, and you know upload that CSV file that we've grabbed from um, you know from um, from the social titan software um, it does comply by the way with all of twitter's terms so it's 100 percent compliant 100 percent white hat and yet incredibly incredibly powerful um, i'll just give you another couple of demonstrations here so you can see i've put in uh, weight watchers uh weight watchers online the hashtag uh, Weight Watchers app because apparently there's an app for Weight Watchers and again I'll just click on search um, and you'll see in you know in the space of just a few seconds uh, the, the tool will basically go and grab uh, the 244 users that it's found and so the idea is we can kind of repeat this not just for Weight Watchers but for all this is like if we're promoting a dieting offer I suppose um, we could repeat this for you know pretty much every type of uh, dieting terms we put in various dieting products here and, and find all the buyers so I mean here's someone like I'm losing weight on the on the healthy wage 10,000 team challenger weight watchers I lost 2.9 percent of my weight this week so I mean this is certainly someone who's a weight watchers buyer um, she's committed she's losing weight you know she's definitely um, a good targeting buyer just going to scroll through again You can see here we've got this for example save two dollars off 
uh, Weight Watchers product. Well, this appears to be some kind of, uh, you know, affiliate or something like that. Um, so I'm just going to grab this couponing word and put this under exclude keywords um, and then click on that just to filter them and just to kind of remove those people. Uh, you can see here Weight Watchers website and phone app are both down, please help. Well, this is basically the phone app is something you would only get if you're a paid up member of Weight Watchers. And so, you know, again, we know that this person is a buyer. We know that this person's a buyer. This person is private message Weight Watchers and so presumably is um, is a buyer as well another person who's a buyer you can see it just basically allows you to extract these buyers incredibly targeted um, and then all we do is just skip anyone that we don't think is relevant so for example weight watchers themselves are appearing um, obviously not much point in targeting them with a dieting offer um, but pretty much everyone else we can just download uh, by clicking here and you know very quickly within the space of a few minutes we can enter a few terms up here and get a list of well over a thousand buyers that we can then import straight into our software. Uh, just one final search I'm going to do, and this is for people who would be looking to promote a Teespring offer. So we've looked at maybe building up a list of internet marketers. We've looked at building up a list of diet people. Um, now let's look at t-shirts. And let's say that we wanted to sell um, a Teespring t-shirt that was focused on nurses. Well, there's a few searches here which, you can dem which I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, you can see that we've got the Teespring nurse. We've got Nurse Etsy, uh, which is another kind of clothing and apparel site. And then we have Nurse Pinterest. And then finally, we've got this search here, cute enough to stop heart. And this is basically a t-shirt. Um, that is, you know, really, really popular uh, that relates to nurses and kind of a phrase that relates to nurses. And so anyone tweeting this is likely a nurse and potentially owns a t-shirt saying this. Um, so I'll just click on search. And while that's searching, there is something else I want to show you. There's also a link here, this little Twitter icon, that if I click on it and basically allows us um, to, to run a search and see if anyone, uh, see what the what a preview of that result would look like basically. So it'll load up a Twitter search for that and then we can just scan and see what kind of things people are tweeting. So you can see here, this is exactly what we want. Uh, this person, check out nurse available for the next um, eight hours. Well, they've basically visited this page, probably bought the product and have and now retweeted it. Um, so, you know, really useful function there as well. But as you can see, we can just kind of scan through here. Um, and there's just tons and tons of these uh, people who've basically retweeted uh, nurse t-shirts that they've you know either bought or they've visited the page and just retweeted it. So this is exactly what we want. These are all targeted buyers. Again, we can export them just by clicking on uh, this button here. And then once again, we just go straight over to Twitter, uh, create a list and import that list and start targeting them. So that pretty much covers it. Demonstrated three searches there, how we can find Teespring buyers.